the gallow. I'm Luke Crawford. I'm a senior wrestler. Today I'm playing basketball. I'm Braden Beck. I'm Jake Kellogg. I'm Joey Bruno. We're senior basketball players. Today we're going to teach Nick how to shoot a layup, a free throw, and a three.
sense. I like the healthcare personally. I really enjoy the healthcare. I uh, I noticed NST over there, Creekside over there. It's great. I love it. it gets me out of class. What are, what are your personal favorites? NST, 100. I like Pear Bar too. I had the drinks, I like the strawberry drinks. Trey has it in his hand right now. How was your experience today with the health fair? No, I really liked it. What is what is your personal favorite? Um, I personally like the Coral Line because they give out like lemonade and they have like salads and it was really cool seeing every all the different stands and stuff. And experiences. How was your experience today with the health fair? Very good, a lot of options, healthy options, yummy tea and a salad. I learned a lot of stuff. Yeah. What is your um, personal favorite stand? Um well I have to make my way around all of them. I like the food stands. I like the food stands. What's your personal favorite stand today? The vaping stand. It was very informative. Hi, this is the health fair haul in 30 seconds. This is a protein shake that I got. This is a hand sanitizer that I also got. I can't remember the sign of the names of the places, I'm sorry. This is a band-aid from Mercy Healthcare. No, it's not. It's from Hillside Rehabilitation. <laughs> This is American Heart Association. This is back full size. And I got a toothbrush. And I got a band. And I got another ball. And I got a lot of other cool stuff. Whoa. A lot of other cool stuff that I got. Whoa. All my cool stuff. And this is all my cool stuff too. So I think we should have a health fair every year for the purpose of education because I learned so much today. That's Great all job. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Anna Dudash. Our staff gives to us every single day, so this is how we gave back to them. What is your name? Danielle Kapalka. And what do you do for the school? I'm a lunch aide, and I get to spend my afternoon having lunch with all of you guys. Look here, she talked the bar. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Very cool. Jen Kuzak. And what do you do for the school? I am the librarian. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah. Here is a chocolate bar. Thank you. Happy <laughs> holidays. Yay. It's such a cute Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Today we'll be interviewing Josh Newman, a sophomore at Campbell High School who happens to be Jewish. So, does it again? Yep. Okay, so what is it like to be Jewish around the holiday season? Uh, it's kind of weird because, like, we're not. Like really seeing Hanukkah decorations, you're only seeing like Santa Claus and Jesus stuff, mm -hmm. and like it's really awkward. I feel like. What is like a couple like big traditions you usually do? Like just my family. Yeah, or, yeah, like stuff like that. Uh, we usually have Hanukkah with like people who live in my house for like six or seven days, and then we go over to either my grandma's house or we stay at my house and they come over here. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a brief history of like what it is like you do? Like I don't really know, like Hanukkah. Oh, know, like what we do on Hanukkah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, at sunset every day for eight days, uh, we light the candles and say a prayer. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Have you ever found like any Jewish movies like about Hanukkah or a song or? Well, like, there's um, the Adam Sandler song. Oh, the Hanukkah song. The Hanukkah song, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And Sunday school, they made us watch a lot of stuff. Like what? Like a lot of children shows that like I didn't want to watch, but I was forced to. They have like children shows about Judaism. Yeah. No. Favorite thing about Hanukkah? Pe uh, getting presents. Getting presents. What is the? Do you have? Do you ever have you ever like celebrated Christmas, or is it? Yeah, so my grandma converted from. from Christianity to Judaism when my mom when my sister when my mom's sister was born. Okay. So like you do, you celebrate both. I we go to my uh, uncle's sometimes. Okay. How do presents work on Hanukkah? Uh, we get one a day mm -hmm. from both, from either my yeah. family. My dad doesn't get us presents. And he get our presents are from both of our parents. Mm -hmm. and my, my dad just as surprised to see what we got as I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hanukkah. What? Since you've celebrated both like Christmas and Hanukkah, what is what are some like the differences, like key things, like you've um, noticed? Obviously, we don't get we don't like get to run down the stairs in the morning mm -hmm. with little kids. Oh, that's kind of sad. That's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, like yeah. to the Christmas tree. Yeah. We, we have to wait until like after school. So and we don't we don't get a break off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you ever get made fun of for being Jewish? Yes. <laughs> Is it harder? Do you think it's hard to be Jewish? Like, I mean, like it's died down a little since like middle school and people first found out. Like, yeah. You know, I'm just like a normal person. Like, <laughs> I'm a normal person now. But like, yeah, it's, it's not that. It's not that bad. It's My like, sad. I, know it's all, I know it's like all a joke. Yeah. Like sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. Start to cry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most amazing Hanukkah moment? Like, not even Hanukkah, just like Jewish related thing. Like, what are some other Jewish related things? So we eat Israeli food sometimes, which is like the best food in the world. I'm not even going to lie. What? Like What's, an example. Like, What's like, a typical Hanukkah dinner? Oh, like, um, Hanukkah They're like, they're like, we call them Israeli pancakes. Mm -hmm. They're like triangles with like jelly filling and then they're really good. How do you like worship? You know what I mean? Like Christians go to like church on like Christmas. We, get, we have synagogue. Synagogue, okay. It's like the same, but like we're not worshiping Jesus. We're worshiping God. Uh, do you have a yarmulke? Is I that do. what they're called? Yeah, I do have a yarmulke. 
Do you have to wear it when you light the candle or? No. Okay. Only when we're at home, synagogue. It. What's your favorite present you've ever gotten? Uh, probably when I was like eight or something, my parents got us an Xbox. So That's that cool. Was, like, our best That's sweet. Are they like big presents every day, or are they small uh, presents? It, it, it's, you go from lower down. You go from better presents to worse presents. Like okay. Toys. Well, like now it's good for toys. But, like, when I was younger, it's not. Hello, everybody. I'm with Nick Crawford, senior wrestler. We're going to talk about wrestling season this year. Nick, tell me about wrestling and how's the team looking? Uh, the team's looking solid. We have a big match Wednesday. It'd be awesome if we get a lot of support. Yeah, it's Beaver Local. It's Beaver Local. Now, I understand that, um, you know, this season you guys have a couple returning some state champs, one of them being yourself. Yes, sir. How is that going to look down the road in March? Are you guys, like, preparing for that yet or no? Not at all. Uh, no, we're just going to take it uh, one match at a time. One match at a time. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Season. So, yeah, we're swinging off the team this year. How did everybody look? Uh, we're in a pretty solid this year. We've got a couple kids returning, kids working hard, and we're ready to go. Nice. So, I know you guys have a Brexville tournament coming up, as well as a meet with Austin Town that's also considering, you know, taking seriously. How do you guys think you're going to do it? Uh, Brexville's going to be, like, exciting because it's our first, like, team event as a varsity team that was not on there. And then Austin Town, we always bring it to them, so we're not worried about that. Hello, everybody. I'm a sophomore wrestler, Michael Crawford, and we're going to be talking about wrestling season. But so far, how is wrestling looking this year? How does the team look? So far, we're looking pretty good. We have a couple injuries, some kids out that could hurt the team, but okay. overall, I think we're pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah. The wrestling team is always solid. Our wrestling team has a lot of success every year. How do you think your season's going to go for you? I know you guys have a Beaver local match today. How are you preparing for that? So far, you know, just getting through the day. I have to make weight at around 5 o'clock. What weight are you wrestling at? Today I'm wrestling at 182. Okay. Throughout the rest of the season, I will be doing 170, so today's not as hard. Why are you bumping up to 182 for the day? Our weight assessment at the beginning of the year uh -huh. says I can't technically weigh 170 until December 22nd. Hmm. So it's just technical rules. That's interesting. So I don't know how that works, but that's cool hearing. Yeah, about. it's complicated. So with the rest of the season, you know, looking forward to it. State is that a thing? You're like, is that your goal? My goal is to make it to state and try and get on the podium this year. Well, good luck with that. You'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm with senior Jody Giacomo, and we're going to be talking about Christmas time and Christmas traditions. So, Joey, what do you and your family do over Christmas? Uh, over Christmas, we go to uh, we go to my aunt's house on Christmas Day, but for Christmas Eve, we go to my dad's cousin's house, and we call her uh, Aunt Gina. And we just we play a lot of games there, and we give we give gift um, exchanges. Favorite thing about Christmas? Definitely just the experience of seeing all the lights and stuff. Like I, when I drive downtown, I see all the lights and the Christmas tree lighting. It's beautiful. Oh um, well, it sounds good. Hello, everybody. I'm with our assistant principal, Mr. Shields. We'll be talking about Christmas and Christmas traditions. So, Mr. Shields, what do you and your family do over Christmas? Uh, Christmas Eve, we usually get together. Well, when my father-in-law was alive, we would go to his house and, you know, big Italian family, so we would have all, you know, everything, all kinds of, you know, different great food, uh, good times, laughs. Um, Christmas Day, we, you know, we get together um, at another family member's house. Um, each each year, we, we do, like, a gift exchange, you know, with both my wife's and my mm -hmm my families as well um, so it, you know it gets fun we changed it a little bit this year went to a different game yeah. so it's always fun it's always good you mentioned you were italian so four I know, my wife oh your wife is so do you do the sea of the seven fishes for uh, christmas at all i do not i'm not sure if that's something they did while he was alive i don't okay. know um but uh i'm not italian she is she's oh. a n-o-t-t-e she's a note so you know they brought when they came came to the the states yeah. transition to not, so her maiden name is not, uh -huh. but spelled in OTT. So. I appreciate it. Sounds good. So, what's your favorite thing about Christmas overall? Just uh, Just you know, just get together. You know, yeah. You see people you haven't seen in a while. You talk about stuff you haven't talked about in a while. Um, you know, it's just it's just good times. It's it's always uh, something that you, you you say. I wish we do this more often. Yeah. You know, you know so it, you know you get that kind of feeling. You know, Christmas cookies, you can't beat that. There's, oh, always, there's, a, there's always a good sugar cookie that somebody makes and you're like, oh, it's the best. You know? yeah. so that's it, you know, the food, the traditions, and there's nothing better. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Hello, everybody. I'm with Mrs. Kusek, the, the librarian. 
when we talk about Christmas today and Christmas traditions. So, Mrs. Kuzak, what are your Christmas traditions over the holiday? Well, of course, spending time with family, baking cookies, decorating, um, and then we spend Christmas Eve with my family, with my husband's family, and then Christmas Day we just kind of hang out with our family. That sounds nice. Do you guys have any specific traditions you do, like making cookies or going to a certain place or, you know, putting up lights or something, like a little, just something so yes, you guys do? Well, definitely certain traditions, like I let each, like I have three kids, so they each pick the cookie that they want and I'll make those cookies. And then, um, that's really my nice husband, of you. He's po my husband's Polish, so like I make stuff cabbage, uh -huh. and kielbasa, and sauerkraut, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, because I know Italian people do the sea of seven fishes. Do you guys do anything mm -hmm. similar like that with um, the, the Polish background? Not really, just certain dishes. But this year, my oldest son wants an Italian Christmas, so we're doing Italian Christmas without the fishes, like just Italian food. You know? well, that's nice. So, is there anything else about the holidays you like, um, like Christmas Day? Yeah, I I think like just the whole feeling of Christmas. Like I love mm -hmm. it when it snows. Oh yeah. Um, and I think it's neat just to obviously be off school. Oh yeah, but just for sure. To, just to kind of catch up with family and friends and relax. And yeah, you can't take enjoy. that for granted. Because I think we're so busy nowadays with everything, especially yeah. with technology, that we don't really take time to say and Connect with somebody exactly. again, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I appreciate it. Thank you for talking. You're welcome. Anytime. This week on The Wrapping Wars. We chose four students to compete in the gift wrapping contest. We have a group of girls and a group of boys to see who can wrap the best. Who's gonna win? Okay, so we screwed up the audio, but this is basically Mrs. Pizzuto wrapping a nice um, language and composition book. So basically you want to start with your object, um, and she definitely said that you want to roll out your wrapping paper on a clear area that's flat, um, and you want to roll out your wrapping paper a little larger than you may think you need and you definitely want to size it up um, and see which way you want to position your item that gets you to use the least amount in wrapping paper um, so basically she's just doing that right here and she decided to go with that way so that way she wouldn't waste as much wrapping paper Okay, next she's taking her scissors. Um, she had professional wrapping scissors, but we just use craft scissors, which you can totally use. And she's carefully cutting the wrapping paper. Um, she definitely said that it's okay if you have some jagged edges because you'll fold them over, um, which you'll see later in the demonstration. So she's just cutting. Okay, now she's rolling up her wrapping paper and putting it aside so you have a clear space to wrap your gift. So she started with some tape um she took one piece of tape off you could totally use more if you need more and you want to make sure she said if it's a nicer item you don't want the tape necessarily on the item so it doesn't rip the packaging but because we could because we used a book it didn't really matter so she wanted to make sure that your item is flush to the paper and you see in this um, demonstration that she pushes the book back so that she has a nice clean straight edge so she you'll see that she's folding the wrapping paper a little bit under so she gets the seam perfectly and then she folds the wrapping paper over again increases it so that it's a nice flat seamless seam okay and then she's securing it again with another piece of tape um and another piece of tape wow lots of tape so with that then she's going to move on to wrapping the side part so she's going to push the two sides in and push the top flap down again she's now putting it back up so you can wrap the gift easier and it's closer to your hands so she's doing the same thing pushing the corners in and this special technique i've never seen done before where you fold over the paper so you have a clean seam and again it creates that seamless effect so she's just securing that with another piece of tape and um, securing the sides, making sure that it's really secure. So if you have people that you're wrapping for that maybe like to peek in their gifts before Christmas, this is a great um, idea to wrap a gift. It's pretty much foolproof to get into. So now she's turning it back up again and she's just repeating those steps, um, folding in the corners, making them seamless and folding over that top piece of paper so that it creates that really just professionally wrapped gift wrap look so again she's just securing the tape and um after that you're done if you want to make it a little more personal you can always stick a bow on it or write a card or put some ribbon with it <laughs> i'm oreo brunette i am the Uck Uck. this is gift wrapping 101 
And this is the wrapping. One of two. I'll use these instead. You yeah. want to? And these are huge. It's like you don't Pick your poison and then I'll snatch the other one. Which one's <laughs> I think this looks okay. stupid. Do you want those two? Wait, can I have these two then? <laughs> okay, I'm Holly Eberly. And I'm Joey Bruno. <laughs> Today we're making Christmas sweaters. All right. We have five minutes. On your mark.
one and a half, negative three. <laughs> hey. Hi, bud. How about I do stay Oh, I love how Holly did it backwards. <laughs> On, oh, yes. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse neckline, those are really good. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna try to make, you know, those like coconut bra things. I was gonna try to do a Christmas thing. Uh, yeah. Literally just. But yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I first started, of course. Yeah, like, good idea. I understand. There's chocolate on it. So. Da -da 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 brown, brown, blue whale. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> this we should we should own the show. We'll see.